Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another awe-inspiring day at Utopia Farms. So because we have so many sheep, we have to switch the pastures frequently. So today we just opened up a different pasture for these uh, little lambs. They're going to stay on there a few days because there's not too many and then we're going to put the adult ewes in there. But uh, we're pretty well played out after that with our pastures until they regrow. So I'm imagining that in uh, a few weeks they'll be indoors for a while as we wait for the pastures to regrow. We've got such a volume of sheep that they demolish uh, huge acreages in a very short amount of time. Because uh, all the ewes today um, aren't even trying to go out to pasture. They're waiting for a bale of hay because uh, they've pretty well eaten off that really huge pasture that we put them out on. But these guys have a really big one today uh, when they feel like going out and checking it out. So while Arnie was out cutting more hay down, I decided to separate some of the Dorset ewes out because uh, this barn is too crowded and we want to get these guys in the other barn. So I got as much as, as I could. Now the hard part will be getting them to the barn by myself, but we'll try. The handy thing about runways. You guys, there's nothing in the shop. way didn't work. Max pushed them back, so we'll try this way. And of course, they went on the platform, but they had to go down the trap instead of through the door. You really got to wonder about these guys. Again, they're missing the doorway. Oh, in the barn. Katie, come here. We don't want you in there. Okay, I don't know how many I got, but I got a big group anyway. This barn's cooler. And the white sheep do better when they're not in with the suffix and vice versa, because they do eat a little bit differently. So uh, the suffix in the other barn are getting thin because we're not feeding them heavy enough. And if we feed them heavier, these guys will get too heavy, so. This is Ryan, he's a repeat customer. <laughs> <laughs> How many years have you been buying rams from us? I think this is my fourth or fifth. Yeah, and are you okay with them? Yes, I love them and I love the lambs that I get off them. How come? They're like, quick growing, they like, they're really fast growing and they're very meaty lambs. <laughs> Don't you just love putting people on the spot, <laughs> eh? I love them. They I, love I the lambs they get from me. Well, I, I, you know, In the other pen I got the older rams. And I got gladiator rams in there and stuff. Yeah, I like to see that. I like that squirrel muscle. Yeah, I do like his style. He was cat. She's visiting with everyone. So was Caboodle, actually. For some reason, the females never turn out. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Well, that's the one that we got in there to beef right now. She has no female reproduction. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we. He's so pretty now. Yeah. We didn't even tolerate it. So Ryan picked. This guy, he's one of my favorites. He's a triplet out of Handsome, right? Yep. And he picked another one too. Oh, right here. Uh, this guy is a single out of Hannibal. Hannibal. Uh, you know Hannibal, our big British guy. So, 
Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. <laughs> I, he's such a sweetheart. But he didn't take you. And you're such a sweetheart, too. <laughs> I just caught Arnie working hard. Fixing our little whirly gig. Wasn't working properly. We've almost gotten rid of our old bales now. Just a few more loads and these guys will all be cleaned up and out of the way. We're ready for the new stuff to start. If Katie knows she's on film, she'll start to hide. Katie, you're a good girl. <laughs> Nighttime now, the sun's starting to oh, go I'm down. I'm going to <laughs> check that all the lambs make it in tonight, because especially these girls, they were in a new pasture today, so they're probably not quite sure where to go, but they're all on the runway here. And you can see these are all suffolks on the topic of keeping breeds together. So when you look at uh, this group of sheep, they're, you're comparing apples and apples. So it's much easier to determine which one you like better, which one's doing better because they are all similar age, same breed and caring for them. They're gonna be looked after the same. They're gonna eat the same. So it's very easy to judge sheep when they're all the same breed, same age. Mosquitoes are out. And I'll go, we'll go look at the Dorset pen and you'll see the same thing. All the Dorset ewe lambs, when they're together, they all look pretty good. And it's easy to pick the one you like or don't like because you're comparing all the same type. In this pen, the same thing. All these girls are exactly the same. So if you're looking for a thicker one, or a smaller one, or a taller one, or a fluffier faced one, it's very easy for you to pick them out and you're not distracted by um, other sheep who may grow at different rates, have different characteristics, like a Suffolk, which is a much, much different breed of sheep. And I've come in this barn, and when I came in here, this guy was here. He was coming up the laneway, and he's followed me in here. Hey, buddy. Hi. Are you coming to see what was happening? Yeah. We were just here to see the sheep. Yes. You want to be friendly? so much harder to win over a Dorset. Hi! You're nice! Hi! Hi! Uh, Dorsets have a much uh, flightier temperament than uh, the Suffolk's do. Hi! Hi! So you have to be a little more quiet around them. Just so that you can win them over. Hi. And being sheep, if one comes up, the others will copy. Hi, look, that's Buddy. That's Buddy. Yeah, that's Buddy. He's nice. And these are the Suffolk ram lambs. And they're all over you because Suffolks are extremely affectionate. You, you just got a new home today. Hi. You guys are so nice. Well, oh, these guys are out in the field, but they must have heard me because I'm pretty sure they all ran in and they're screaming for food. And this is where I took the 35 ewes out. 
so I'm wondering if there's a lot more room in here now. There should be. So it looks like there is a lot more room. And I see that I've missed one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dorsets for sure. But that's pretty good. And I see all one up front. I figure there's still quite a few left in here. But there's a lot more room now. And we will pull the rest of the dorsets out when we have a moment. There's Hunchy waiting for me. Hi, Hunchy. These guys probably, um, they have to go in the back door. So they don't know that routine. So I'm just going to lead them back to the back door so they can learn how to get in and out of the barn because in the past they've been going through the front door. Hi Hunchy, hi. Hi. You look really nice tonight. I can see that. Yeah, you do. You look really nice. You do. You do. Okay, you guys, let's all go. Come on, Hunchy. Come on, let's go. This way. Tammy, out of the out of there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, Hunchy. Follow along. I've been counting as the white sheep in the other barn as we walk by and I figure there's still 30 in there. Okay you guys, you're doing a good job. Max, come here. Max. Come on, Hunchy, join the group. Come on. Oh, Katie. There we go. We got someone stuck in the rope. Hi, there you go. That was a little silly, wasn't it? Max, come here. I wondered what that was in the... F Every time you see something unusual that's moving, I thought thought that there was something injured in the field, but it's Buddy. Come on, Buddy! Come on! Come on, Buddy! Buddy's very clever. He went back there, and he's caught a mouse. Buddy, what have you got? What have you got? You're a clever pussycat. You're a very talented pussycat. Hi, buddy. I don't think we want to watch that. Come on, buddy. So when you keep several breeds together, it would probably be, if you're going to keep them in the same pen, it's probably best to have sheep that are similar in um, growth rate and how they eat. Like some sheep are hard keepers, some are easy keepers, um, some are slow growers, some are fast growers. And the fast growers like Suffolk, uh, you can feed them a lot more food. And they do well with that. But uh, Dorset is a much slower growing breed. And if you feed them equal amounts, 
they uh, they tend to get laminitis and just don't react to the great quantities of food. So when they're together, you're you're always kind of trying to feed for the medium, uh, and neither breed does well that way. Um, the Dorsets will tend to gain too much weight, and the Suffets maybe a little less. So when we have to, we put them all together. Um, but if we have, when we have space, we divide them separately and we find that they do much better that way. And in here, you can see the bulk on the size of the suffix compared to the bulk on the dorsets. Max! Because the dorsets are slower growers, so they need time to just eat slowly and gain their weight. Dorsets are easier keepers if you don't mind feeding them for a longer period of time. Suffix grow so, so fast they need the extra food to maintain that type of growth rate. Well, a sliver of a moon is showing now, which to me indicates that's the end of another day at Utopia Farms. So I hope you guys will join us again tomorrow. Hey. Bye for now.